Hope all is well. Gonna get some gameplay in. Gonna jump right into the action. Playing the Ferdinand. It's a pretty awesome vehicle. It's got a beautiful 128. That's 128 millimeters or 12.8 centimeter, whatever you want to call it. It's got about 246 pin, I believe, with 490 alpha damage. Can hit as high as I think about 560 or so. Uh, it's the more armored of the two tank destroyers at the tier 8 level, or three tank destroyers, I should say, um, at the tier 8 level for the German line. You got the Rhine Metal, which is a paper tank with a pretty good camo value and a fully functional turret. Jag Panther 2, which is known for its speed, carries the same 128, whereas the Rhine Metal Borsig can have a 150. Or the 128. <clears throat> Looks like I got myself stuck in a pretty heavy match, so I'm just going to play as peacefully as possible, I should say. Hopefully, I'm still recording, right? Let's see, yes, I am. All right. At 121, I'll tell you, that thing, sometimes it picks me apart, and sometimes I can just put it down. Anyway, um, as I've always stated before, I have no idea how this game's going to go. I have no idea if I'm going to be successful or if I'm going to fail. Um, if I'm going to do really good to carry the game or I'm going to absolutely just get obliterated. You know, we'll find out, figure it out. I'm not going to get myself too deep in there, though. Just post up right here. This is not a good spot to be. I already like to focus that corner sometimes. It's not very pleasant. Alright, well, it looks like I'm going to be... here by myself. That's okay. I've got myself a good little position here. Hold down and whatnot. From the looks of it, that medium's got himself in a pretty tight spot. But I'm not going to stray away from my my fighting position. I find that when I do that, I get way too far into the mix. I'm hoping someone just comes around that corner. I'm going to light them up, but... Knowing my luck, that's not going to happen. But we'll see what happens here. See what this guy wants to do. He's going to come back out. Hopefully. Anyway, more about the Ferdinand. Uh, historically, it was used during World War II. Um, it definitely was feared. Ooh, well, that's always nice. Just gonna stay right here. Oh, I missed my shot. That's a bummer. Alright, well... Since they've got those guys at bay, I'm going to push forward and try to not get flanked by this guy completely. Well, that didn't go too well for him, now did it? And it's not going to go well for me either. It's okay. I did my job. I got my hits in. Whether we win or lose. Which it, as long as these guys don't 
muck it up like I just did. We should be all right. Uh, that's just a sure tell sign that I moved forward and I rushed in there and look what happened, exactly as I said. So I gotta be more careful about that kind of stuff. Anyway. Go back to garage and see if we can't get another game in. Playing that Ferdinand, I'm real close to getting the Yag Tiger. Pretty excited. Let's go for some tier 10 action since got caught in tier 10 action. I'm still pretty new to this tank as well. This destroyer. Pretty sure everybody knows the finger of God, the Death Star, the Derpzilla, Queen Derpingham, whatever you want to call it. Still kind of getting used to <coughs> shooting the right things with this and I know you're supposed to be going after nice, flat, unspaced, unsloped armor. I'm still just kind of getting used to adjusting to that. I generally don't use tanks uh, premium rounds, but with this thing, I pretty much uh, got nothing but premium rounds, rounds loaded into it, I believe. I think I have three AP rounds, yep. And nine hash. I'm gonna instantly switch to switch switch to hash. There's a good friend of mine down there, Jazz Emperor. He's been frequenting my battles, as I have his, of course. And <laughs> we're just gonna hope for the best and All right, man. We've got in the area. pray our tanks do the right thing. I think I'm gonna start out over here. Hope I don't get spotted and shot to shit. Not going to get any spots, most likely. That's sad. I was hoping to crack off a round before. Oh, shit, broke loose. Probably just camp right here and... See what this Panther 2 does. Uh. Oh, wow. Okay, so remember to always aim in fully with this guy. I didn't really think that was going to go that silly, but it did. What's a man going to do? Looks like I'm going to have to turn around anyway, because... Everybody and their mother... On this route. Clearly artillery has not hit a damn thing. Here. The enemy knows our location. 
Well, he's gone. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really care for this too, too much. But it is pretty darn satisfying when you tag somebody like that. Get up there. Well, there goes that guy. Whip it back around. Two hits, two kills. Full health, pretty much. Equals. Gotta love it. What are you doing, bud? Come on. Don't be like that. Gonna meet this Type 61 for breakfast. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see what happens here. They found us. Oh, come on. And he's dead too. Easy breezy, beautiful cover girl, right? Now to rush forward all my might. We lost track of them. We've got a lot. Oh. What did I do that for? Good game. Good game again. Great job, man. <laughs> Hitting that bat chat was quite satisfying, I have to say. All right, guys. Well, that's all I'm going to do. Appreciate you watching and hope all is well. I'll uh, catch you next time. Have a good one.